fans are going. It's really hot in here today. I have cleaned my piece. I have sanded it, wiped it back down. Now, the top of this piece, they're just that plastic laminate wood thing. So I'm going to be painting those in dusty blue and the legs and the risers I'm going to use some what color is it? Ooh. Gel stain by Verathane in Kona. Whoops, sorry, making you dizzy. I'm going to stain those first. Let that dry for about two hours. I've stained the legs and because this is like not real wood it's like plastic a plastic coating made to look like wood isn't that fun uh, I've scuff sanded it back and I've also given it a coat of shellac in the spray very easy to use and it dries in minutes I had painted this top dark blue and then I didn't like it so I sanded it back I should have gone with what I originally wanted to go with which is this lighter blue and it's called dusty blue by Dixie Bell I like it it's the blue the darker blue sort of blended in with the dark brown and I kind of wanted it to stand out a little bit more it's a very plain piece I am painting with my zebra brush two inch palm. to let that dry do a second coat and top coat all of it in one of my top coats I think I might go satin because I want it a bit shinier Ended up really nicely. That gel stain is a game changer. 
I love that gel stain. In case you don't know, gel stain is not a penetrating stain, it sort of just sits on the top of your wood rather than going in to the fibers of your wood and so it's more like a paint stain if you will. I'm going to be top coating it with another Verithane product. The gel stain was Verithane. I have a Verithane polyurethane water base though and it's in gloss and then I'm going to give it get it on there and do uh, long brush strokes. I'm also going to my paint pixie brush. I love this brush. I'm only sitting in front of the side table because I had to give the coffee table back to my friends that I uh, restored that for. I really enjoyed the restoration. I think that coffee table, it wasn't a big dramatic change, but you could just see by the sanding back and the re-staining, especially that gel stain. That gel stain is magic. Just re-staining it just gave it a whole new life. And then this guy, just transforming it from plain. It's nothing super fancy. I like the clean lines of it. And then that's why I did something just a little interesting here with the stripe at the end and the stripe directly under. And it sort of plays with the eye depending on how you move around the piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick video this week. Look out for a bonus video on the 23rd, so that's Saturday. I am part of a competition, a challenge with a bunch of other YouTubers and this one has a winner. I am doing a desk over for myself. You guys picked the paint. I'm so excited about it. I've already done it and completed it and I love the desk. It is just what I wanted. So I hope you guys enjoy that video also. It's gonna be a good one. This is my birthday week. So <laughs> if you feel like giving me some love, click that like button and hit subscribe and uh, come join me every Wednesday usually at 3 p.m. for my uh, regular uploads. All right guys, love ya and I'll see you next week. Bye!